Hi, my name's Claire Green. I'm head teacher at St Michael's Junior Church School. Uh, I'm just uh, doing some videos to show you some of the things that we're doing to help support our families and community. Uh, this is outside of our uh, school with some of the messages, the thank you messages that the key worker children have done over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and then I'll just show you a few more clips as we go through the day. So here we are at the entrance. We're lucky because I can buzz people in through the gate and then we can prop our doors open so people don't have to uh, touch door handles on the way in. Uh, so this is our book pickup. So parents and children can come and collect new reading books. We also have a book drop off here and we keep the books for 72 hours and we spray them uh, and then put them back out. Um, we also have lots of resources for people to come and pick up. Um, we've also got envelopes of printed learning uh, for children to come and collect if they haven't got computers at home. So this is our fair share area. So we have uh, weekly deliveries from fair share and Magic Breakfast, a charity also supports us with lots of food. Uh, so this is where we prepare our food parcels for the community. Um, we've got some that we deliver to if they're shielding. Uh, some people come and collect uh, from the school and if we have any spares we text the parents to say to come and collect uh, and we again put them out in the entrance. We also are having some uh, frozen food deliveries from Southside uh, and Wessex Water are supporting them uh, so we're able to get actual meals out to families as well. Okay, and down here, this is our hub kitchen uh, run by Edwards and Ward, uh, and we make sandwiches for some of the other bath schools, um, which are collected and also to serve our children who are on site. So here I am in the office and along here are all our packs of learning for the children who cannot access Teams. We use Microsoft Teams uh, and I'm also sending out iPads to families today and some Wi-Fi boxes so that they can access the learning that's set every day by the teachers. Uh, we've also got another pack here ready to go if we need it from the 11th of May. So the other thing I thought I'd talk to you about uh, is some of the other services that we're trying to provide for our families. So behind me is a bit of extra green space um, and that's going to be used for children who need to burn off a little bit of extra steam at home that might not have a garden to use. Um, parents are concerned about taking them out into public places. Uh, so that's what we've started as of this week. Uh, the other thing that uh, staff do is that they phone families to check in. Teachers call the children to make sure they're okay. Um, and we can provide some tutoring as well for some of our children. Uh, that's also started over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so lots of support trying to go in just to make things um, as easy as possible, if at all we can. So here I am in one of our classrooms that I've started to lay out uh, to try and work out how many children I can safely seat that would be two metres apart and also have a teacher at the front. Um, and have room to be able to get in and out of the classroom. So there are lots of plans in place ready for any phased return. I've ordered lots of extra cleaning equipment, uh, gloves, aprons, possibly masks. Um, so there's lots of plans in place. So since lockdown, uh, instead of just running a school as we would normally, uh, we have an on-site provision for up to 16 children at the moment. Uh, we also have our remote learning set by the teachers through Microsoft Teams. And we also have lots of food supply delivery and collection. Um, we've got tuition happening. We're referring uh, different support and agencies to help support families. Um, we've been ordering vouchers, uh, doing lots really uh, to try and just make things as easy as possible. Uh, all the while, hopefully planning for a safe return as soon as is possible. Um, yeah, so we're just trying to do all the best we can uh, to support our St. Michael's family.